What's up guys, Justin here with the RealtimeEssentials.com. So one of the benefits of using Unreal Engine is that you get access to the entire library of Megascan's assets for free to use inside of your games or your renderings or whatever you're making. Well in today's video I'm going to teach you how to quickly take those assets from the Megascan's library and get them into Unreal Engine. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in order to import files into Unreal Engine, you're gonna need to make sure that you download Quixel Bridge. You can download that for free by going to quixel.com slash bridge and clicking on the button right here for download bridge. So you can download that and then you can install it on your computer. Bridge is basically a program from Quixel that helps you take all of the data contained inside of your different objects and bring that into other programs. So it basically helps you manage all of this and it's a pretty good system for doing that. And so once you install the file that it's created down below, you can open it up and it's going to look something like this. Um, it's actually going to look more like this on their home page. So whatever their new assets are, they'll be highlighting it on this page. But on the left hand side of the page, you can see things like 3D assets, surfaces, decals, all of that different stuff. You've also got your metahumans over here. You've got free things. All of that is contained over here. There's also a button down here where you can see what you've downloaded locally. I've pre-downloaded some assets because my internet connection is really slow at my house. And so you do want to make sure that you log in to your Epic Games account when you first do this. But now what we want to do is we want to export these assets to Unreal Engine. And so the first thing we need to do is, and you can click on the export button to do this, or you can go to your edit, export settings. We need to set up our export target and make sure that we have the plugin that we need installed. So basically the way this is going to work is inside of the export target, you can set what program you want to export to. In this particular situation, we just want to export to Unreal Engine. All right, so then, what you need to do is you need to select the version of the engine that you're using. So in this case, for example, I'm using version 4.27. You're just going to pick whatever your engine version is. And then you need to set a plugin location. And so basically what that means is that means you need to go into your Unreal Engine install directory and find the folder under engine slash plugins and just put it in this box. So we're just going to click on this right here. We want to go into our Unreal Engine install which for me is the 4.27. We want to go in the engine folder and you want to find the plugins folder right here. That's all you need to do. Then you can click on the button to select the folder. All right, and so once you've selected this folder, you're just going to click on the button to install plugin. And so when you install the plugin, what it's going to do is it's going to download and install the plugin in that location. And so if you're to open this folder and look at it, Notice how there's going to be a folder in here that says Megascans plugin. So then once it says installed, you're good to go. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up an Unreal Engine project. All right, and so I've opened a project inside of Unreal Engine. Um, this one's pretty empty right now, um, but what we want to do is we want to export some of these to Unreal Engine. So we've got our plugin set up. All we have to do now is go to our assets and I've got these assets downloaded and you can just click on the button for export. And if you have your plugin set up properly, it's gonna give you a little notice up here that it's exporting to Unreal Engine and then it's gonna say export to Unreal Engine successful. If it doesn't work, it probably means you had the plugin set up wrong. So if we jump over into Unreal Engine like this, notice how this is going to work for a second and it's going to think and it's going to bring all of those different uh, all those different assets in. And so it may take a little while depending on the speed of your computer and a lot of other factors. And basically what it's doing is importing them and setting them all up so that you can import them into your project. So and we've got a little bit of a message log in here right now. I'm not going to worry too much about these at the moment. Um, we may have to clean some stuff up with these later, but not a huge deal. So we're just going to close this down. Well, notice how what that does is inside of your content folder, it adds a folder for Megascans. And so if we double click in here and go into the 3D assets folder, um, there's going to be a folder in here for that object. And notice how you now have assets that you can bring in. So for example, if I drag this mesh in right here, notice what that's going to do is that's actually going to bring in a complete textured object inside of my scene. So if I zoom in and look at this, you can see how this is set up with the roughness maps, um, it's set up with the normal maps, and it's set up with the albedo or the texture maps in here. And so what that means is that means this sets up really quickly and really realistically. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to add some of the racking 
in here, and I'm gonna make a separate video um, probably sometime this week talking about how to reset the uh, placement points of these objects because for some reason, or the pivot points, for some reason the pivot point is off of this object, which is kind of annoying, but we're not gonna worry too much about it for right now. But I'm just gonna duplicate this object right here. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to scale this to negative one along the green, so the Y axis, like this. But notice how I can use this in order to import this really quickly. And I can really do that with any of these assets right here. So I don't wanna mess around with this too much. But notice how these all come in with that high level of detail. But then say we wanted to bring another asset in, we can just jump back into bridge and we can just bring like our palette in. So I'm gonna click on export. Now Max is gonna export all of these into Unreal Engine. So notice how quick this is to do once you have everything set up. So what you can do is you can manage all of your different Megascans assets inside of Bridge and then send them to your individual projects instead of having to deal with creating a giant material library and managing it, or material and object library and then manage it inside of Unreal Engine. But now if I jump back into the engine and take a look at our 3D assets, notice how now like your wooden palette is here and ready to come in. Plastic crate is ready to come in, and your other wood palette is also ready to come in. And again, these all come preset with materials already set up inside of them, so you don't have to do any of that yourself. And so one other thing to note is this does automatically set up the LODs that you have downloaded. So like for example, I have my download set up um, if I look in my download setting to download a few of the LODs, I actually changed this so it's a little bit different, but you can set the LODs in your model download settings. But then if you look at this and we go into the, um, let's see the LOD coloration right here, notice how as I move out, it's automatically switching those LODs out for these different objects. So notice how you can see the coloration of those going on. You can also kind of see it if you turn the LOD coloration off. So if we go back to just the regular lit view mode and then just watch this as I zoom out, notice how it switches to a lower level of detail the further out I get. So really easy to do, done completely automatically. I didn't have to mess around with that at all. So I will also link to a video on this page about the Megascans trees that you can bring into Unreal Engine. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.